Hello there, my name is Dr. Carlo Odet. I am a board certified emergency physician with 18 years of clinical experience. I post medical education videos on my YouTube channel, Dr. ERTV. I have a special interest in brain health and maximizing brain function. You see, my wife had herpes simplex encephalitis six years ago, which resulted in her developing an acquired brain injury, ABI for short. And since then, she's had problems with brain function, specifically recall and memory. Since then, I've read almost every article that crossed uh, me related to brain function and how to improve it. Lately, I've seen an uptick in the number of articles related to brain function, mainly because patients who are recovering from COVID-19 are experiencing very similar symptoms to that of my wife. They have coined the ter term brain fog to describe the awareness that the brains are not functioning at optimal capacity, that it feels much like it is in a fog state. They too have sustained a form of ABI to different degrees, and there's an increased demand to find out more about the condition and how to help it. My goal is to create medically sound education for people searching for answers about ABI, regardless of the cause, whether it be encephalitis, COVID-19, or any other brain fog related function. Now, let's talk about this recent article that was published recently on the Lancet of Neurology in March 2021. The title of the article is Brain Rewires Itself After Injury on the Edge of What's Compatible with Life. It tells the story of a young teenage boy who because of some motor quirks he had catching a baseball, the family began to suspect that there wasn't something quite right. Uh, so patient uh, went to the doctors, medical providers, before a neurologist finally ordered a CT scan of the brain. The results were astonishing. The picture in the thumbnail of this video, and I will show it to you right now, shows the brain of a 13-year-old on the left-hand side of the picture and a normal brain on the right side of the picture. Brain looks white and gray on the skin. Fluid looks black. As you can see in the picture, almost 70% of the brain tissue has been replaced by fluid on this scan. The neurologist concluded that the patient had a significant stroke around the time of birth. Quote, it was the largest strokes I'd ever seen in a child who hasn't died or suffered extreme physical or mental disability. Furthermore, the extent of the injuries may be on the edge of what is compatible with life safe, the associate professor at the medical center that this patient was being evaluated and treated. Review of the patient's medical records showed that he was admitted to the NICU, neonatal intensive uh, state, with fever and respiratory symptoms. He was very ill for about three weeks but a neurological event was never suspected and patient was discharged home after he improved. That sounds to me like this patient had a form of encephalitis, probably viral encephalitis of some kind, with the upper respiratory infection and fevers. But because the child was so little, the normal complaints of severe headaches and altermentation went unnoticed by the medical providers. And it went unnoticed until this child's uh, went into childhoods and teenage age, probably uh, after he was uh, struggling in school maybe a little bit, but he made it all the way to seventh grade until it was realized that there was something not quite right. He was treated as a normal kid and forced to function at a normal level. So even though his brain couldn't really for uh, perform at this level, he was forced to do so. The patient actually earned an associate degree at a technical college and works full-time rebuilding diesel pumps for trucks. This case clearly illustrates uh, what was science fiction to me in medical school. I was taught that the brain has millions of neurons, but that that tissue is stable and you can't make any new cells, that essentially the brain cannot rebuild itself. However, that is now science fiction. That is no longer true. It has been shown that with good diet, exercise, and good sleep, the body releases BDNF, brain-derived neurotic factor, which makes the brain form new cells in the hippocampus. 
the hippocampus is the area of the brain in charge of um, solidifying your memories. The, the hippocampus can grow in response to BDNF, and the prefrontal cortex can also be hypertrophied or grown by exercising it and by stimulating it. So, if you have suffered from an acquired brain injury, and if you have brain injury, don't lose hope. With diet, exercise, uh, good sleep, there is chance for that brain to regain function, even to make new brain cells and form new connections. So, keep in touch with your pro medical providers, live a life of good health, diet, sleep and exercise, and treat your brain as normal as you can stimulate it, force it to do difficult things, and your brain will try to catch up and be as normal as possible. If you want to stay in touch with new videos like this one, and new posts about how to improve your mental health um, and the brain function, especially in the context of an acquired brain injury, like encephalitis and COVID-19 and concussions and whatever, then please go to dr.er.tv and subscribe to my newsletter. I will be posting videos like this one more and more often as I create new content specific for people experiencing brain fog. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.